Hey everybody, welcome back to Surviving Mars. I'm John Newcomb and we're gonna... Ooh, <laughs> I like how we start that way. What do we got going here? Safe mode. What do we got? Safe mode. When a colonist suffers a sanity breakdown, they fall asleep and wake up after six hours with 70 sanity. Colonists can't commit suicide or gain flaws due to... That's pretty awesome. I mean, we only had one, but that could be a really big, like, fatal safe just in case, like, if something just gets crazy. Oh, that's awesome. Fail systems are in place and used to prevent catastro catastrophes blah, 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 in various fields for centuries. Until now, we had no viable way of remotely detecting what the brain was headed towards when the brain was headed towards meltdown. A means to remotely render people unconscious, however, was already available. Huh. That could be really good. I'm actually going to queue it. It's not, like, life-changing for me at this point in the game, but I think that it's something that's very, very important. Um, okay. Colonists are almost here, so I can touch them down. Apartment building to back up. Nobody should be homeless. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say nobody should be homeless. Give me that crap. Um, all right, so we're going to end up. How are we doing here? So two. So let me see. I have twelve colonists landing here in a second. So those are full. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can open up nine, ten, eleven. I could literally open it up with the research thing, which I think might be what I do. Or I could open up. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, the diner's like, eh, whatever. You know, I mean, two. I mean, I'm thinking food. I think it's kind of slightly important. So quality's up to 80%. Bam! Um, or research. Research is really important. Seem to work during the night shift. Okay, so let's try to keep everybody off night shift right now, because obviously we don't want to have a major break on anybody. Um, I think machine parts are going to start being a problem here. Yeah, so let's um, let's open up another shift on there. Okay, perfect. And awesome. I think they're actually just about ready. Can we touch them down in transit? Maybe. I mean, I can speed it back up. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. Land. Come, land, my young colonist. We have, like, a ton of fuel saved up, which is fantastic. I have 103 fuel. That makes my heart smile. Is it coming down? Yeah, there it is. Let's slow down. It's really cool. Where are those lights come from? Bottom of the ship? Maybe? Bottom of the rocket, you think so? Man, that's really cool. Uh, guys? <laughs> Come on out, everybody. Welcome to Mars. That'd be awesome if, like, randomly every once in a while somebody, like, jumps down there and they're like, oh, and just, like, eats it, slides across the ground. Ha <laughs> I got you. Shut up, Carl. All right. Um, so this should begin refueling almost immediately, I believe. Where is my drone hub? Oh, it's barely an inch. That's awesome. So we're new gonna speed this back up. Have arrived. I know. Hi, new colonists. Pipe leak reported. Of course, there's a pipe leak. Right there. What are you bleeding? A lot. Fix that. I mean, it's not really a lot, but it feels like a lot to me. Um, yeah, they should literally just dun, 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 till it's all filled up, and we should be good to go to get that thing off the ground. I do not want to send. Can't you turn it off? I mean, if they get. If they get exports, great. I'm not too concerned about it with it at this point because I'm trying to uh, produce a lot, get a lot of my own production off the ground, so we're just going to kind of run with that. Again, they load some, great. If they don't, I don't really care. All right. Building's not working. Oh, need fuel. Yeah, fuel them up, man. What's going on? Oh, it's because everybody's over Research here loading rockets. complete. Rocket. I mean, guys, didn't I say that this is supposed to be a high priority? Because this is how... Yeah, see, it is a high priority. This is how things get messed up. So if we could not... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Pull from there. There we go. Sweet. What did you drop off? Electronic. Huh. All right, cool. All right, so let's skedaddle up here real quick. Let's take a look at um, up here and see what we got going on. So I really want to do the same thing that I just did um, up here because I have way more stuff that I can be producing up here as well. Um, I want to... The only thing I think we're going to run into is going to be the food. See, I'm not producing... This place is producing, like, garbage food. Like, I'm not producing enough. <sighs> hmm. Oh, do I have the... Are we ready to go? Sweet. Take off. 
What? I thought... Oh, it doesn't have the food off yet. Okay, abort the launch tickets. So, stop. Okay, turn that off. Get the food off first. And then... I'll launch the rocket. But I don't want them to load up any more precious metals. I'm not too... Actually, how many precious metals do I have? Yeah, see, I've got four. Let's not... Yeah, let's not send those off. I'm good, guys. I'm good. Like I was saying, though, I think I'm going to have a problem because I think that... Are you good now? No, you're not good. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're taking it off. Well, fine. We'll just take it back. If you could get the food off, that would be great. Get the food off. Um, here. How am I going to increase the population but this farm is not really pressing me right now. So I could do the Logi. I don't think I have the research though, do I? For the It's like Logi fungi or whatever. So you can put um, farms outside. Oh, I do have the fungal farm. Ooh. Okay, do I have, do I have one of those? I don't think so. Sector oh, I do, but isn't it like... Anomaly found. We'll get there. Hold up, hold up. Get rid of this. No, I don't have one. Okay, see, that would actually make sense more over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a fungal farm, I think. So let's do this. And I want to rotate. If I could... Oh, working hard for the money. Put it right there. That is perfect. Build that thing right there. All right. So they're going to build that. I will get rid of this. Or I mean, it doesn't really matter if I get rid of it, but I'll just... That's fine. Um... I could do is I could put a nursery in there because don't I have kids in there? I do have kids. Children born and children would be born. This dome is comfortable enough. Okay, so we need more. We need more living space. But that actually may not be a bad idea to scrub this once this gets up and running and let them work out of here. And then I can put another, uh, like maybe like a daycare or a nursery, you know, something right there. Um, are you ready to go yet? Get my food off there. Come on, pick it up. We got places to go. Um, okay, so I'm going to let them build that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, where's my research guy? Explorer. Where are you at? You're right there. Do we have anything else in this area that I can scan? No, but oh, holy goodness, there's a bunch of stuff down there. All right. You come back over here. Do me a favor. Recharge. And I really want to get down there. What do we got? Ooh, that's nice. A lot. Meh. I mean, <laughs> not really. Um, ooh. Those are new technologies, though. I like new technologies. Those could be good. Are you unloaded? What is with you guys in the food? Seriously. What's going on? Is it because there's not enough room here? Is that why? Okay. So I'm going to, just to be that guy, I'll put another Universal Depot right there. Get my food off, please. Yeah, there they go. Come on. I'm going to send this rocket back. I don't like rockets just sitting here if I don't need them to be. Do I have, see, I only have nine rare metals. See, that's the thing, too, is that once I build a... Uh, oh, it's a, it's up and running. Okay. So, I am going to... F okay, you need to go. Are you good? You're not good yet. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Okay, so, uh, I bet you I can do it. No, let's not, just in case. Um, I'm going to take you out. You guys are going to get really super unhappy with me, but I'm kind of okay with that. Um, okay, so let's uh, salvage this building, please. Make this high priority. Okay, awesome. Get rid of it. Blow it up. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and let's go to domes, apartments. Totally cool. Build it right there. And I want this built at a high priority, please. And then I'm going to throw... Are you ready yet? You're ready. Go. Okay, and let's call in another colonist rocket. So, passenger rocket. And oh, I'm still so good. Launch. Yes, launch anyway. Fantastic. So I don't know. Daily I'm predicted. Lifetime production. Okay. I wonder building performance. That sucks. Um Oh wrong. Workplace specialty. He's an officer. What's an officer? I mean a botanist, I got that one, but what's an officer? A lot of people are not happy about working there. And I'm, I mean... Pipe leak reported. I can kind of understand that. How are we doing on... 
Yeah, that's was gonna be my next question. Hmm. All right. I'm actually gonna amplify this. I think. How much water do we have left there? A ton. Okay, not a ton, but let's amplify it. <laughs> Oh, see, I don't know. Is that the right answer? I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it right now anyways. Um, so we are going to be running out of water soon, which is going to be sweetie bad. I don't have any other water down here. Like, seriously. Um, that one. And then that one. Um, okay, go back down here. You come down here and unlock this police. Okay, we're gonna let him scan that right now. See what we got going on there. Um, you calling us on route? Okay, so making headway. Making headway short and sweet. All right, I'm still working. You guys are still covering all up there. <laughs> is that done upgrading yet? I'm just curious, like I wanna see that yeah, it is. Okay, but now I have a huge power shortage. What do we huge power shortage? Well, I mean, eh, power shortage or, I mean, obviously I'm not, from producing right now but it's negative six he's going down Normally analyzed there's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye a veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder so long as you know where to look even the tiniest simple looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations sometimes it takes just a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe and encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence into the future all right, the following text have been revealed. Compact passenger module, which looks pretty cool. And farm automation, that one's going to be <laughs> kind of huge. Um, that's pretty sweet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much, folks, for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up or hit me up down in the comments section or um, also in the description is my, uh, I have Twitter. So you guys can hit me up on there too. I'd love to chat with you guys. And I will uh, take care. See you soon. Take care.